Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to read two verses from Philippians chapter 3, which will be followed by, you know what, Pat's Two Cents. Now I want you to listen with your heart. Amen. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Listen, this is what I love about that particular scripture. We don't realize how much baggage we carry with us, do we? Sometimes, I remember when I was going, I was on a flight, and I had so much on me, it was so hard to maneuver, and I was thinking, why didn't I leave some of this behind? Yeah. Sometimes life is a load. Life becomes a burden. Life becomes this heavy weight, almost like a millstone tied around our neck, weighing us down, pulling us under, drowning us. But we don't have to carry that stuff. God has given us the power to relinquish the past. So all those hurts, all those scars you feel, all the the emotional baggage, all the brokenness, the shame, the feelings of abandonment, the, the lack of desire to forgive, your resentments and bitterness, all those bitter memories, I'm telling you, they do not have to have control over your life anymore. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Everything that has been put upon you, Christ went to the cross to deliver you from. You do not have to endure any longer. And I have good news for 2017. Or the end of 16 for that matter. Because you can cut that stuff loose tonight. All you have to do is ask God to get in there. For those of you who are born again, take advantage of everything that's in the contract. Healing comes with the contract. Deliverance comes with the contract. Jesus said out of his own mouth, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest is another word for peace. Release. Oh, I'm telling you. Just just keep going to the Lord because that's what he wants to do. He wants to remove all this old stuff. He wants to comfort those that mourn. He wants to give the spirit of praise for your spirit of heaviness. He wants to heal the brokenhearted. Are you brokenhearted now? Are you encumbered with a load of care that you don't know how long you can bear? Well, guess what? Jesus will lift that load off your back. He will take the monkey off your back and the, and the, the pressure off your chest. And he will relieve your mind. But you must ask. The Bible says we have not because we ask not ask and then watch his amazing power work in your life you will be amazed at the new you here are one of the major keys after you ask ask God to show you what part you may have played in some of the damage and acknowledge that then ask God 
to help you forgive. Ask God to help you forgive. In some areas, you may have to forgive yourself. Ask God to remove your guilt. And ask God to enable you to forgive those that in your mind don't deserve to be forgiven. It ain't about them. This is about you and God. Do you hear what I'm saying? You cutting yourself is not going to hurt them. You drinking poison waiting to die is not going to kill them. You never ever getting into a relationship ever again in life because of what they did to you. Guess what? It's never going to stop them from living. And it's not going to make them feel guilty. They have done that. And they're moving on. You need God's help to help you do the same. Because there's a brand new horizon. Brand new life waiting for you. But you can't live it. You cannot live your life that's ahead of you. If you're buried in the past behind you. I'm going to leave you with that. You need Jesus to help you through. Pray to God. In the name of the Son. And see what he will do. God bless you. Amen.